Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is a thing called a uh, Airstream Vitesse, made by PHS, or probably made on behalf of PHS. It's a hand dryer, blade hand dryer from a bathroom. Found it in a skip, as usual. It's got a couple of sensors on the bottom, which I presume is light out and light back in again, to sense when there's a hand there. Pretty foolproof on the outside. It's missing the bracket that it would have hooked onto, and it's been yanked off it, so... It should hook onto something here, a bracket on a wall, and then somehow snap in and there's probably a cover on the bottom with screws up or something to let it off. Here, there's obviously broken plastic. You can see the whitening where it's been stressed and broken, so it was in a skip. I suspect it works. Let's try and get into it. The unit... The internal unit appears to be held in with six, six screws. I believe it was in a pub. Because it was in a skip outside a pub. No, that's not it, not yet. What else could be holding it on? More screws. Can't just keep going until we get there. Oh, I think that was it. It's pretty greasy inside. Uh, it's got a filter on top, so I presume air gets sucked in through the top, through some kind of a motor that accelerates it and shoots it out. Looks, there's two LEDs there, but yeah, they would be at the front. Yeah, okay, so they would be here, behind that plastic lens on the front. I'm guessing there's some circuitry in here. So, this front cover panel looks like it comes off, but that also looks like it... Oh, I don't know, actually, no, it doesn't look like it would affect the airflow thing, so... Let's put this back on. Take this one off. What does it say on it? 230 volts, 1100 watts, which is quite spicy. Over a kilowatt. It's spicy, but I guess, in, I wonder is there a heater in it as well? It might be. Right, so that's sliding forward. Mm -hmm. Stuck on something. The wire's stuck on it. Something. The circuitry is attached to that bit, so this wire here is holding that. And this wire here is holding that. So where does that blue wire go? To the motor, I presume. To the motor, I presume. So this is the motor then, unit. And it's got this blade, I'm gonna guess you're gonna call it. Bit of circuitry there, live and neutral. So let's get in here, because I haven't got this plug on because I don't care. I'm gonna take this apart. Suits me better if it's pre pre stripped. I don't want to have to strip the cables. You see, this is just more work. It has an earth pin on it, but I don't. It's double insulated by the looks of things, so it doesn't appear to have an earth. What are we doing here? That's just a cable clamp, is it? And then this looks to be snapped together. Yeah. So there's a clamp on each side here at the back. If I open that and do the same the other side. I've not seen a plug like that before. There is again connectors in there. But the screwdriver won't reach. I need a Phillips 24. I suspect that all that circuitry, or a lot of it, has got to do with timers, so it's not on forever, and it has got to do with the proximity sensor, which may be a useful circuit in itself, so that's this guy down here, it's on a ribbon cable, so presumably, oh it looks like it has a motor controller unit as well, because that is a 
kayak of some kind. What does it say? BTA 16600. So that's the same as a washing machine triac. So presumably in here there's a little, maybe a universal motor? I don't know. Okay, well let's plug that back into the lights now that we're in here, just for fun. see it go. I have a thing over here called a safety block. Don't know if it's got enough stretch in this cable but we'll find out shortly. All right let's put that there. I'm expecting this to kick. If it does it does. Maybe it won't do anything until I put something under here, like this, to get the blade to come on. Plug it in. Okay, it's it's on. It's, it's live. Should be live. Switched on. Let's come back a bit here. There's no lights here. Like it could be a dud, of course, or the cable could have come off here. Which is more likely, really, that this has happened. So, I need to strip that cable a bit. Just so that there's more space on the flex. Right, we'll go for live again. Neutral, check, live, check. This is a cool thing because that's live, or that's neutral there, and that's live there. And if you were to stick your screwdriver in there, it would get hot, well, it would give you a shock. But until this little guillotine, a fused guillotine here and a solid guillotine here comes across and snaps, it doesn't do anything. Ready? Just as I suspected. You gonna work? It's quite a blow, but unless you're in the path of it. It doesn't, it doesn't come on instantly. again see that you saw the little blue i wonder can you see that it's hard to see it on the screen you know there's a little blue light, a little red light. so there's a little blue led here and a little red led there and they don't appear to be flashing on the camera or showing up on the camera i'd like to see something about in here would i Dear, it's got 20 odd screws to take out. I don't know if I can be bothered. It might have a brushed motor, it might have something like a vacuum cleaner motor, actually, is what I see. Almost I can see in the top there. I think looking at the shape of that and this, I think that's a vacuum cleaner motor sucking air in and just throwing it out. I suspect that's exactly what's going on there, and that it's just regulated somehow. Soft start, soft finish, capacitors, my finger. Um that it's regulated with the triac somehow to maybe give it a soft start and a soft finish. I don't know. I can't even guess what's on that circuit there. 
but it's pretty neat. I wonder could I, it's got the ribbon cable actually. If I was into electronics, that's probably a neat little unit. Does it slide out? That's all bathroomy greasy. Yuck. Pop it down there. It's just an LED and a light sensing Light emitting and light sensing diode, I would suspect. Yeah, kind of neat. Don't know what to do with it. Any ideas, let me know in the comments. Any questions or anything like that, tell me about them too, down below. Thanks for watching. See you later.